Hey everybody, welcome back to the Truck Driver Son YouTube channel. Today, I'm super happy to have a company that I've wanted to have on this uh, channel for a long time. They're super small, so it's not like if you're a small channel like me, you can just call up and go, Hey buddy, <laughs> want to check your stuff out, will you, will you send it to me? They, they, they don't do that. So, I just, I've had it in my car on YouTube for, uh, on YouTube, <laughs> on Reverb forever. And then they had a sale. So I was like, hmm, wow, that is now affordable right in my, I'm a cheap son of a bitch budget, right? And that is Finch Electronics. And this is the screen. So as somebody who uses a lot of overdrives, like I'm literally staring at, <clears throat> what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forty of them right there, just sitting on the back of a door. Oh, that's just one of two doors and shelves and shelves of overdrives that I have. And I love overdrives. I used to hate all pedals, but I love overdrives. And one thing you find out with overdrives is they become very, uh, one kind of behaves just like the other one, which behaves just like another one, which is trying to sound like another one because someone made some money off it. You know, it's one of those things, and in no way am I saying this pedal isn't that, but it gives you pretty much all of it in one pedal. That coffee is legit. All right. I'd say... Gratitude to the chef, but I made it myself. All right. So as you can see, you got five switches, three knobs. The three knobs are not going to be, if you're into overdrive, it's not going to be a shock to you as what they are. Volume, tone, gain. Welcome to overdrives. <laughs> so you have five switches. You have one that's called a scream yell, which basically... It's almost like it's a power dampening switch. Like all the way down is like your normal tube screamer. You flip it up and it's like a hot tube screamer. Like something you get from like Aeris Effects or from Fortin or something like that. It's just really super aggressive. Then you have a switch that can change it between the 808 and the TS9 circuit. Which I personally love. Because some amps really do lend themselves better to an 808. And some lend themselves better to a TS9. Got it in one actual pedal then you have another thing that a lot of people don't think about but once you use it you'll wish every single one of your overdrives had it and that is a 19 volt uh, 9 volt and 18 volt switch it makes a huge difference as you're going to tell when i do the video it makes a massive massive difference and then they have that ah, ah! I, I wish i was making that up that that is what it is. <laughs> ah, ah! So yeah. <laughs> it thickens shit up and just kind of like, just puts a mushroom cloud on things. So this overdrive right here, if you're a Doom guy or a Stoner guy and you're always like, they don't ever make overdrives that can do this, it can do that, plus do my Doomy Stoner shit. Now you got one. It done the thing. All right, then it has an A clip, S clip, which I'm dumb when it comes to the clips. I'm pretty sure the S clip is for silicone, but I always thought it was silicone and LED, but A clip stands for something. So uh, you got your silicone clip and your asshole clip. And again, it makes a difference. That's one thing that's super awesome about this. Finch nailed it. I don't know if they built this off an old circuit or what they did because um, they're really hard to get a hold of so asking them questions about stuff it just doesn't really it's not on the list of their things to do I guess but I'll say this this is fantastic if you're an overdrive person you collect overdrives or if you just like an overdrive that has a lot of options you don't have to carry three or four on your pedal board you need this pedal I don't tell you too often that you need something, but you need this pedal. Because it pretty much does it all. And like with all pedals that add a ton of shit and snot to it, the only thing it could really use is like a noise buffer or something in it. So 
when we do this, I'm going to use my GupTech uh, MWAC, which is Militarized Assault Chicken. M what? Weapon Chicken? Assault Weapon Chicken? Something like that. I don't know. Canadians, they're awesome. Love the people at GupTech, by the way. I know I'm talking about a pedal company. Well, doing a demo of a pedal company, but GupTech's awesome. And if Finch knows the industry, he knows the two cats over at GupTech are fucking amazing people. They're just awesome people. <laughs> they build silly shit that works, you know? And Fitch builds stuff that works. Nothing against Fitch. This right here is phenomenal. So I'm going to shut my suck hole. Uh, you good guys can watch my little 22 second intro that I took 32 seconds to create. And I'll, I'll be back. I'm going to use a uh, Deviant Reaper and the Redbeard Poltergeist. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. We're going to dig out some Redbeard shit. You know why? I don't fucking love Redbeard. By the way, I'm endorsed by them. I don't talk about that very often. But yeah, uh, the cat over there at Redbeard, he's a fan of what I do, which is interesting. That's not usually how you end up where I'm at. <laughs> usually I have something awesome to offer somebody and I'm just an asshole with dick jokes. All right. See you in about 22 seconds. Be right back. Sword back. Again, single chain, super easy. Deviant Reaper. That's going into the Finch Scream. Going into the Redbeard Poltergeist is sitting behind me. Being run out of my custom Arachnid Cabs 2x12 with eminent speakers. We have a DB77 and Man of War mic'd up with an SM57 going directly into that camera, which is a Q8N by Zoom. Alright, let's uh Hear the red bird all by itself. <laughs> Even with the gain pretty much all the way off, sounds pretty good. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the finch with all switches down, all knobs in the middle. As you can tell, just leaving things like that sounds pretty good. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the volume up like we do with overdrives. I'm going to dump the gain all the way down like we do. And <laughs> kind of crank the piss out of the volume of it. Here we go. I'll show you before and after, of course, because I'm good like that. So, I already have a really high tone set, so we're going to take the tone, we're going to dump it down 25% see where that puts us. Alright, so now we're pretty happy, alright? But you're thinking to yourself, you want a little more saturation on that game, let's see what we get. Okay. 
Okay, none for nothing. We have not played with a Switch. None. So check this shit out. No Switch has been fucked with. No Switch. No Switch. Nothing. We've done nothing. <laughs> Sounds fucking tits on, right? All right, so the first switch is the uh, scream, yeah, scream, yeah, oh yeah, as Papa Hat would say. <laughs> Yeah, not a fan of that one. That, that's, that's too much violence for me. I'm a, I'm a candy ass. So the next one is the 808 and TS9. <laughs> By the way, the first one was the TS9, and the second one was the 808. I'm a TS9 fan myself. The next one is 9 and 18 volts. You'll see a huge difference here. It might even clip a little bit on my recording, but we'll see what happens. That's my favorite switch, by the way. When you put it up into that 18 volt, it just gets so forward and makes things so full. It's fantastic. Fucking allergies. <laughs> uh, nose itches, but I don't want to bugger up my, my pedal here. All right, so we're going to turn that back down to nine. And uh, the next one is... Uh... Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Here we go. Tell that just thickens things up, which I like tight and right, so you know I'm not fucking with that one. And this is your your silicone clip and your asshole clip. We'll do the silicone first and asshole second, because you never should start with the asshole. These are very bad impression when you're fucking around, you know what I mean? <laughs> The old lady ain't gonna want to hear this, but I kind of like the asshole better. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, let's just make this thing violent, shall we? All right, I'm gonna fuck around for a minute, then we'll we'll give you my final thoughts. <laughs> Oh, 
boys will like that, right? I mean, that, that sounds real douchey like those gent guys like, don't it? <laughs> Alright, my final thoughts on the Finch Scream. It's fantastic. Like I said in the beginning part when we was talking, it's worth the money, it works, it does the thing, and it's got pretty much, other than a noise gate, or a noise dampening situation to take care of the extra that the pedal puts in, it's a very, very powerful pedal. And uh, it is not designed for those who want to have a chubby amp. It's designed for people who want to have their the front end pushed really fucking hard, like, you know, tight and right, you know? I'm not saying that you can't get what you want out of it if you like a thick sound, but this is really good. It's musical. It it literally is a damn good overdrive. It probably is in my top ten that I've tried this year. It just, everything actually does something on it. Sometimes you get an overdrive, they have switches and stuff. Can't really tell what it's doing. This thing here it is absolutely fucking fantastic. All right? So very cool. Go check out Finch Electronics. Um, if you want, do what I did. Patiently wait out the whole reverb thing in their store. Keep an eye out for sales. Uh, I got this. I can't remember what I paid for it. It was fucking cheap, though. It was a good sale. I don't remember what it goes for retail, but it wasn't that expensive, really, in the first place. But I'm just, I'm a cheap bitch. You know? I am. I'm an expensive date, but I'm a cheap whore, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, so hey man, thanks everybody for tuning in, especially all the new subscribers. It's been kind of nice seeing my numbers finally kind of grow a little bit after sitting still for about a year. It's kind of badass. It's probably a lot to do with some of the companies that I'm working with now are actually sharing my stuff, which, you know, makes a huge difference, believe it or not. And it makes a huge difference if you, the person watching this right now, if you haven't subscribed, just click the fucking button, would you? I'm not sending notifications. If you don't put that bell on, you're not going to fucking hear from me. <laughs> okay? I'm not going to beg you for Patreon shit. I'm not going to tell you to go use an affiliate link. I'm not going to tell you that if you put your thumb in my mom's asshole, everybody wins. Don't do that. If it's something I wouldn't do, you should not do it. Stay away from my mom. But, uh... <laughs> my mom's going to kill me. <laughs> Oh, my poor mother. Oh, she's a good woman, by the way. She's probably like my favorite female on the planet. I have an awesome mom. I didn't grow up like this because I had a shit mom, okay? You have to be around decent people to be a decent person. And of course, that's me talking about myself, but, you know, it, this is, it is fantastic. But yeah, subscribe to my shit, would you? Just fucking subscribe. So hey, keep music evil. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. Later.